All right, guys. So today we'll be discussing on how to copy successful hedge fund traders and how to combine that with respect to quantitative trading. So this is one of the strategies that we discuss in the course. It's called lazy trend follower. So this is the fifth strategy for people who have done this course. Uh, it's ideally meant for the SPY, but it works tremendously well um, in stocks as well. So you can see a huge list of number of stocks. Now, if I go to another strategy here, which is the uh, Bollinger Band based strategy. So this, I think, is our sixth strategy. This is the, uh, the confident trend strategy. This also has performed spectacularly well. Obviously, there will be some areas where the performance is not that great. Um, all these strategies, whether it be the lazy trend follower or the confident trend or this one here, the um, stable mean reverse strategy, all of this has got a specific uh, advantage because we not only do optimization and forward testing along with Monte Carlo simulation, we run this test randomly across tens of thousands of stocks over 25 plus years. Now, that is good enough for you. You can just randomly pick stocks and apply the strategy and still successfully get some great results. But I have an additional edge that I would like to give you. Uh, this can benefit not only the people who have done the course, but also people who have uh, not done the course. And this another edge is to apply this quantitative strategy on a selective stock. So you see this stocks here. Now you might wonder, where did I get these stocks? So one of the ways I do is I copy the hedge fund managers, successful ones, not, not any normal ones, successful hedge fund managers around the world. So one of the sites that I track uh, to get these details of the investments of successful hedge fund managers is called Dataroma. So Dataroma, you'll basically get all the details, super investor portfolio. So many of the um, hedge fund managers, successful ones, you'll get the details and you'll also get the details of the top 10 most owned stocks and top 10 stocks by percentage and all those other details. So I don't follow every single person. I only follow the hedge fund managers who spend a lot of time in finding the details of a company thoroughly, like going through their cash flow statement, going through their annual reports, uh, going to the valuations, uh, going to the earnings and things like that. So I've, I've handpicked a few hedge fund managers that I follow heavily. So one of them is obviously Li Lu. He's a value investor. So basically all I pick is generally value investing based uh, uh, investors or hedge fund managers. So Li Lu is one of them. The other one that I like is obviously Warren Buffett is there. Michael Burry is another one of them. Uh, however, Michael Burry does take short term bets occasionally. Um, Monish Pabrai is another one. Guy Spire, or however you pronounce that one. Um, and then Charlie Munger as well. So these are the major people that I follow uh, in the um, hedge fund space and the stocks that they pick. So once I go into theirs, this, is, this by the way, is free available information. You don't have to pay for any of these information. And Dataroma doesn't pay me either, but this can be a huge addition for your quantitative trading. So once I get these details, I add up all these things. For example, for Lee Lu, these are the stocks that he has invested in. He doesn't believe in diversification. He, uh, he believes in focusing most of his assets on a selective few stocks. So then I'll add all these stocks here, whichever I like. Um, and same thing goes with Warren Buffett. So Warren Buffett, on the other hand, has got lots of stocks. So you can just copy paste Warren Buffett's all these stocks, or you can actually uh, get a, a filter the stocks based on the percentage of portfolio. So you can see 42% of his portfolio is in Apple and then Bank of America and American Express. Let's see uh, Bank of America and American Express and how it performed in the lazy trend follower. So this is American Express here, uh, Apple. Apple has got 17,000 and let's see Bank of America. It's got 297%. So these are some of the ways that I like to get a screener. I get an idea of these are the healthy companies that I want to go for. Uh, not that I add everything into it, but the, these companies are also generally liquid. That's another uh, big factor. Uh, you can also see big details of the recent activities. For example, he added 338%. So he increases uh, portfolio size three times. Uh, in Activision Blizzard. That means he's aggressive on that. Chevron as well, he's aggressive on that. And you get to see which date he bought it. So portfolio date is 31 March, 2022. Uh, you can also get the current price and how much he's up and down on this stock specifically. So this is Warren Buffett as well. Michael Burry again. Uh, Michael Burry has done lots of new, um, new additions to his portfolio because of the stock market crash. 
So there you go, Manish Pabrai, again, Micron Technology. The thing about Manish Pabrai is he invests lots of stocks outside of the United States because he finds value in those stocks because nobody is doing value-based investment research outside of America, so the competition is less. Uh, so I hope you guys got a gist of what you're doing. Guy Spire is another one who does lots of value-based investing. So these, these value-based hedge fund managers, the advantage is that they do the um, analysis for you. They analyze the company and the earnings report, which takes hours, by the way. At least it takes a week to read uh, many years of annual report, many years to many days to um, understand their earnings, do a intrinsic valuation, find out their cash flow analysis, do a DCF evaluation, and then decide whether we are trading below the margin of safety, and then make the investment. So why not you just copy all these stocks that they have invested in, put it in your screener, and apply the qualitative trading strategies there. So in that way, it's like a win-win for you. Uh, so you get to you know, you get to uh, get the best of both worlds. You, you get to invest in good companies. And on top of that, you get to apply quantitative based strategies wherein we apply optimization, forward testing and Monte Carlo simulation as taught in the course. So hope you enjoyed this video. Try doing this stock screener kind of an analysis rather than just picking some random stock. I don't think it will make a huge difference uh, to some people, but then why waste this information? You know, you've got lots of information out there online these days free. Take that information and start applying your quantitative trading strategies uh, to these stocks specifically. Hope you guys have a good day. Thank you so much for watching.